When firefighters are called to duty, they face challenges that few other professions experience. We help people on their worst days, and often we see things that really no one should see. The stress that builds up from facing these experiences over and over can be overwhelming. And that's on top of the stressors we experience every day outside of this demanding job. And that stress can take a serious toll in ways that many can't imagine. And we have to address this issue directly with openness, compassion, and honesty. May is National Mental Health Awareness Month. CPF, along with Cal Chiefs, Cal OES, and the Cal Jack, ask you to stand down for behavioral health and suicide awareness. May 22nd through the 26th, we encourage you to take the time to pause normal drills for each shift and conduct tabletop conversations and other activities to focus on the impacts that the job has on our behavioral health. Discuss the connection between the job and post-traumatic stress injury or PTSI. Share your personal experiences with the stress of the job and understand how to spot signs that you or someone close to you may be struggling. And most importantly, how can you ask for help or approach someone that you think may need help? The first step to suicide prevention is to talk about it. And it may feel uncomfortable, but it could save a life, maybe yours. One firefighter lost to suicide is one too many, and now's the time to have the discussion. Mental health is medical health. The vast majority of firefighters who get treatment for PTSI get back on the job. We're all members of the fire family, and together we can help prevent suicide in the fire service. A firefighter's intuition is strong. Check in with your brothers and sisters and ask open-ended questions. Identify a peer, a family member, or a friend who you can go to for support. You spend so much time helping people, you have to make sure you spend time helping yourself. Together we can bring down the growing number of suicides in our profession and create a more resilient fire service. For tools and resources specific to firefighter needs, visit healingourown.org. And if you need immediate assistance, call a national suicide hotline at 988.